Hey guys, welcome to another miscarriage video. Um, today's video is going to be about feelings of abandonment and I'm gonna try to make this video um, a little bit shorter than the last ones. I know that they've been a little bit long, but I feel like I just get on camera and have so much that I wanna share with you guys and encourage you guys with. So um, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video. Like I said, this video is about feelings of abandonment and hard situations. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I hope that it encourages you. So through my experience with my miscarriage, and keep in mind in this um, video, this isn't just for miscarriages, this is what I have personally personally dealt with, um, but if you're going through a hard season, a tragic loss, um, pain, heartbreak, anything like that, I hope that you can also just take what I'm kind of saying and apply it to your life however it applies. Throughout my miscarriage kind of journey, if you will, um, there was really only one really strong time that I felt completely abandoned and, um, you know, by God and just questioning, okay, where are you? And um, it was actually a day, <clears throat> not long after I miscarried, but um, maybe like within the first week or so. And I just came to this point where I was in so much pain and I'm the type of person, and I'm learning not to be this type of person, but um, I've always been the type of person that if I'm feeling, you know, pain in any kind of way, I always try to throw distractions in my way so that I don't have to fully feel it. Um, that's going to be another video that I'm going to talk about, but um, with this, it was something so strong and so painful that um, I could no longer kind of throw distractions in my face to help me um, kind of cope with the pain. So it was just a morning and Kyle was at work and I had started making lunch for myself. I had asked my mother-in-law to take care of Lily for me because I just needed some time to myself. And, um, and I sat down to eat and it was just like the pain and like the weight of everything had just completely fallen over me and I was hurting and that was probably the morning where I felt the most pain, um, maybe that I've ever felt, but the most pain within the, this whole miscarriage um, journey. And I was just in so much pain I literally couldn't, I just was like weeping and I literally couldn't even like pick my head up off the table. I was in, I was hurting so bad and I just, my whole body was hurting. I felt, you know, physically weak. I was emotionally weak. And it was in that moment where I just started questioning, God, where are you? And um, that morning, one of my really dear friends had texted me a verse, you know, a verse that a lot of people know that God is near to the brokenhearted. And it was interesting that she had texted me that that morning because that was the morning where I just felt like, are, is he near to the brokenhearted? Because in that moment, I felt like um, I, I didn't know. And I just felt like, God, I can't feel you. I'm, I feel like I, I can't hear you saying anything. Um, and so I was just crying. I was a complete mess, just totally broken, keeled over on the table. And within like probably five minutes of feeling this pain, of feeling this abandonment and feeling like, God, why can't I feel you right now? Why can't I hear your voice in this moment? I feel like you've left me. I feel like you've forsaken me. And um, within about five minutes, Kyle had walked in the door and obviously saw me in all the pain and the hurt and you know, scooped me up and, you know, walked me to the bedroom so I could lay down and just held me while I cried. And it was such a powerful moment because it was just like I was in so much pain. I was so broken. And there he was with arms wide open um, there to basically save me from this pain that I was feeling and just, you know, listen to everything that I was, you know, crying about and I was sad about. And, um, and so I just want to tell you guys that even though in that moment I felt like, God, where are you? And I seriously just kept feeling like this abandonment feeling. And, and if you are feeling that currently or if you've ever felt that, then you know it's an awful feeling to have, um, to feel like, you know, God's abandoned you in a season. But there's good news because God never leaves us or abandons us or forsakes us. Um, he tells that to us over and over in his word, and that's a truth. That's something that we can stake our life on, that he's never going to go back on. There's never a situation where he has left us, even if it feels like it. Um, and that's something that I talked about in a previous video. You know, our feelings can be deceiving. And... <clears throat> 
Um, and so looking back now, even though in that moment I felt like God had totally left, I just felt like, oh my gosh, like, you know, if, if you've gone through, if you've experienced it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's horrible. It's hard. It's a hard feeling to have when you feel like you're suffering alone. Um, you know, without God's help, without God's, you know, presence. And I just remember feeling, thinking like, I can't feel you. Like, where are you? Um, and I, I was reflecting on it a couple months ago. Um, and I just, God just showed me that he was there, but it wasn't his, you know, tingling presence that I needed to feel in that moment. It was my husband walking in the door, being able to hold me while I cried. That is what I needed in that moment. I didn't need for God to speak to me in my spirit. I needed the physical touch of my husband to come home and to hold me through that pain. Um, and when God could just kind of like reveal that to me, because I just remember praying on it just like, God, where were you in that moment? Um, and I just want to let you know too, it's okay to ask God those hard questions. It's okay. You know, God um, is not fragile. He's not going to, you know, shy away from our hard questions. He's God and, um, and he's a good father and it's okay for us to ask those hard questions. It's okay for us to pray those prayers of where are you because he can handle it and he's so sovereign. He's so good. Um, so I was, I was praying on it. I was reflecting on it. I just, you know, I was praying, God, where were you in that moment? And I just really was asking him to kind of reveal, you know, what was going on in that moment. And he showed me, you know, I didn't, that he, he knows what I needed in that moment. And what I needed in that moment was for Kyle to come home like he did right on time and for him to just let me fall over in the pain and for him to just listen and be there and encourage me through it. And so I just hope that encourages you guys that, you know, sometimes when you're in the midst of it and you, you can't see where God is in that moment, you know, you can't, I, I didn't understand that he knew that I needed, that my husband was able to come home for lunch that day um, and embrace me and all the pain and all the brokenness and all the hurt. Um, so I just hope that encourages you guys. That's kind of the story that I wanted to share was, you know, even in that moment when I did feel abandoned, um, even though I felt it, that doesn't mean that it was true. God never left me. He never abandoned me in that moment. He was there and he knew that exactly that I needed, um, you know, to feel the comfort of a hug from my husband. Um, so I hope that encourages you, you know, wherever you're at, if you're currently feeling it like, you know, God's abandoned you or you, you question a certain situation in the past, it's okay to, you know, pray about those things and to say, God, where were you in this, in this season? I've done that. Uh, so many times it seems like where I've been confused of, okay, God, where were you in that situation? And he's so good. He's so faithful. Um, and he knows what we need. He really, really knows what we need. Um, because he knew when I was in, in that just like unspeakable buckling pain, he knew that a quiet whisper from his Holy Spirit was not going to help me. That's not what I needed. Um, but he sent what I needed and he was faithful to send what I needed in that moment. And I didn't realize that in the moment, but I totally realize that now. And I'm so thankful that we have such a good father that looks after us and cares for us and knows exactly what we need when we need it. Um, cause like I said, it was literally minutes after I started feeling like this cloud of like heaviness of hurt and pain that there he was, Kyle walked through the door and, um, just embraced all of it. So that's kind of my story for you guys today. Um, so if you're currently walking through a miscarriage and you're wondering where God is, I want you to know it's okay to ask all the hard questions. It's okay to even look back in your life and wonder, you know, where, you know, God, where were you in this season of my life or where were you on this day when this horrible thing happened to me? And, um, you know, keep your heart open, keep your eyes open to what God wants to speak to you. It's not always like an instant, oh, I was right here. Um, but there's been times where I've, you know, asked God, where were you in this moment of, you know, a hard time? And it's always like a process. Like God shows me exactly what, what he was doing, where he was at, um, how he was taking care of me in that moment. So I want you to know you're not abandoned. You're not alone. You're not alone in the suffering. Um, God is, Jesus is always with us in the suffering, whether we can feel it or not. That is a truth that we can stake our life on and we can take it to the bank and know that God is never going to leave us. He's never going to forsake us. Um, even if we don't feel like it in that moment, that is the truth. And he will be faithful to show you where he was in those, you know, moments of your life. So I hope that blesses you guys. Um, I hope that you know that you're deeply known and you're wildly loved. And, um, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys, um, 
want to comment down below and maybe just say if you've ever experienced, um, you know, those feelings of abandonment and, um, and just, yeah, just let us know because I think it's always good to see people commenting and just knowing, you know, I'm not alone in feeling this way. I've, you know, I've felt that and I've been there. And if you see someone's comment and you really want to encourage them, please do that. Um, that would be amazing. And I think that we could always use some encouragement, right? So, um, if you're walking through a hard season, if you're walking through loss, if you're walking through pain, I want you to know it gets better. God's faithful. He's with you in your pain. You are not alone in the suffering. And um, yeah, so I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I hope that you can find joy in something today. So love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.